Okay. Uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, we're going to do another reaction video to a prophet. We have no idea who this prophet is. And today is the 21st, so it would have been recorded on the, the 16th, 17th, around there. And here we go. Hey everyone, this is Albert. Donald Trump is going to be re-elected as president in this election. As it is in heaven, so be it on this earth. Coming up next, stay tuned. Truth will triumph. Trump will triumph. God will triumph. We all will triumph in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And God is telling, I will bring ultimate victory. Put your trust in me and fix your eyes on me and believe in me, says the Lord. I am the Lord who spoke the word. I am the one who will perform it. I am the one who will make it happen. Last week, while I was praying for this election, God showed me a vision. In that vision, I saw a huge pit of snake was hiding inside the pit. And I saw a huge... Often do you see props and leather jackets? Go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna say, we have to be identified at some point as watching there. So, you know, before they showed us watching it, I mean, yeah, we did that on post production. Okay, now this, this we did this exact same thing oh, last okay. time. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. we're also being recorded right now. Yeah. And well, then they start recording. Yeah. Uh, we did a whole lot of post <laughs> ma magicry on it. Magicry? Okay. Alright, so leather jacket. Leather jacket. Alright, here we go. Huge bulldozer. If you need to say something, look at me, I'll stop it, and then we'll talk. Completely, you know, like, um, completely scrubbing this uh, whole pit from the bottom and taking it away and then crushing it and all the snakes completely eradicated and this whole pit was completely exposed and everything was completely completely crushed god is telling i'm going to do something amazing in this election i am really bringing forth the justice says the lord and these snakes are the lie of the enemy and these snakes must be crushed and these snakes are the lie these lie must be crushed by the truth of god this bulldozer is the truth of god let truth arise let trump arise let triumphant come in jesus name and god is going to crush the enemy and what adam and eve failed to do on the garden of eden jesus crushed the head of the enemy on the cross and today in this time and season god is going to do recreate the history by crushing the head of the enemy by Whoa. crush create man like the road is hard bringing all the lies to be completely crushed and truth will triumph in this election hallelujah every lie of the enemy will be exposed and god is calling you to stand in that authority and dominion what adam and eve did not do jesus did it for you he showed an example and today god is calling you to stand in that authority in that dominion what adam and eve once lost today jesus restored it for you you are called to be completely stay strong and believe in the truth believe in God and trust in God you will see amazing turnaround great shift and amazing breakthrough Donald Trump will overcome and he will win this election for the glory of God hallelujah you have only two options either concede or confront God is calling to confront the lie of the enemy to win an ultimate victory in Jesus name that is going to happen in Donald Trump's life and God is going to do this for his glory hallelujah few days back I saw an another vision of a venomous instant did he just say get Donald, he's going to do the Donald Trump's life? That's... Mm. No. You got to have a victory in Donald Trump's life? Did, did you not hear that? Well, yeah. uh, but... Uh, can you back it up here? I can do whatever we need to do. Yeah, to yeah. hear it just a little bit. Today, Jesus restored it for you. You are called to be completely stay strong and believe in the truth. Believe in God and trust in God. You will see amazing turnaround, great shift, and amazing breakthrough. Donald Trump will overcome and he will win this election for the glory of God. Hallelujah. You have only two options, either concede or confront. God is calling to confront the lie of the enemy to win an ultimate victory in Jesus' name that is going to happen in Donald Trump's life. And God is going to do this for his glory hallelujah few days back i saw an another vision of a venomous insect that tried to come against this nation and god told in my spirit strike this venomous insect so in that vision i did went ahead and gave a strike to this venomous insect 
this venomous insect pretended as if it is gone and done but then i heard the voice of the lord saying strike again for the second time when i did for the second time this venomous insect was completely eradicated i was praying about this god told again this venomous insect is the lie of the enemy and uh, you have to strike every pretensions need to be striked again and again and again until you see the ultimate victory today our battle is against the spirit it is not against the flesh and blood but against principalities and every wicked foe and every lie of the enemy must be struck down again and again until you see the ultimate victory and god is going to do that and god is going to dismantle this venomous insect and god is going to bring out the truth and completely crush the lie he is going to bring forth an ultimate victory for donald trump and he want to do that but church has an important role you have to be in agreement in faith god cannot or will not do until you pray and ask god and expect with an expectation because god wants the church he honors the church god rewards the church god awards the church and he died for the church he will do anything for the church you as the church are you willing to stand are you willing to believe are you willing to pray are you willing to release this declaration are you willing to release this uh, you know like affirmation are you willing to release this victory are you willing to release this confirmation as you release the word as you declare and decree you will see an ultimate victory god is giving visions after visions to confirm to confute and refute and confront the lie and see the ultimate victory that is the only way do not give up and keep on striking the lie of the enemy because god has given you the authority and power and victory and position and the ability potential clarity clearance and god is telling stand on the ground and speak life and life in abundance i will overflow i will come through you i will do master things mighty things mega things in your life hallelujah the lord says layer by layer i will dismantle and uncover every lie of the enemy and bring forth justice hallelujah the real battle is between truth and lie that's what god says hallelujah but truth always triumphs trump will triumph in jesus name hallelujah what is the meaning of strike again and again and again if the justice is not coming from the state my thought about this is that that for the ultimate truth to be revealed it's it's got to be drawn out here and, and uh people will try to take advantage of it that, that is the enemy will try to take advantage of it and we've got to keep pressing up back pressing and pressing back against the enemy i felt this for a long mm-hmm. that that is our responsibility i mean right. we must believe we must pray we must declare or whatever we must stay optimistic with right. our morale Yes. Yes. We must keep our morale up. Yes. And uh, we believe that this will happen. This needs to happen. Yes. yes. That's our endeavor. Now, I was thinking about this, like with regard to church, possibly tomorrow, a time during uh, announcements, they say, are, are there any more announcements? Right. And then uh, and get uh, clear to understand and say, I'd like to declare. I declare that. Trump, <laughs> right? Donald J. Trump is going to win this election. Yeah. yeah. And if he says no, then you leave the church. No. Mm. There's a. I was going to say, <laughs> Biden stands up and they say. Because what do you, what do I do if a church, if a church leader says no, we don't, you know, we don't want to get political here. Um, or to say we need to pray for the election. You know that, that if there is any. You know, even without using the word Trump, you could say, we just yeah. need to I'm, I'm, I'm not going place. with any of that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. Well, I, what, I, I, I hate that PC crap that they're trying to, that they're trying to, it's, it's not good. Political correctness. correctness. Yeah. You know, trying to walk, walk this tightrope of, of uh, not offending anybody. Well, forget all that. That's right. not what men do. And I get that, I but guess. I mean, there are some people who I think are good people who probably voted for Biden. I know, but it was yes. wrong. <laughs> that's right. Well, yeah, that's true. Okay. Okay. All yeah. right. I mean, we're not. Are we trying to? Are we trying to say, oh, it's okay? It's okay. No, it's not okay. You voted to kill babies. You right. voted for the enemy. You voted to take God out of our church, out of our schools. What you did was wrong. Mm-hmm. And until you see that, 
I don't know what to do. Well, I've always uh, said there's no such thing as a Christian Democrat now. There's not. Yeah. There no, are there it? are there are very weak. There are feminine male Christians. You know, or feminine by well, supporters. Whatever. Okay, uh, people did not, and they well say so still they did not consider the platform. They were hung up on a personality. Yeah, but they should have considered the platform. And she was she was wondering why so many Christians were voting for for Trump, and so she was praying about it and said, and the Lord told her, look at the platform, look at the platform, mm -hmm. and so she got to looking at that and she said, well, my word, there's no way in the world that I could vote for Biden, you know, yeah, mm -hmm. and I, I I don't know how to when you're so blinded by what we call TDS or Trump derangement syndrome, when you're blinded by it, you know, when, when being woke means closing your eyes. It, then it has to be taken to Supreme. God is going to bring ultimate victory because God is on our side. Hallelujah. If God is on your side, who can be against you? There are more people with you than against you, says the Lord. Church needs to stay focused and not having wavering faith. This is the time for you to exercise your unwavering faith and be faithful. Hallelujah. I prophesy that Donald Trump will win this election in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I declare and decree every pretension must end in Jesus' name. I declare and decree every lie must end in Jesus' name. God is going to do a reversal for his glory. Hallelujah. Joseph in the Bible said, you all planned evil against me, but God turned it out for good. And that is what God is going to do in Donald Trump life. While everything happened in this way, God is telling, I'm going to reverse everything and I'm going to get the glory, says the Lord. And he's going to do amazing declaration of victory of Donald Trump in the coming days. Hallelujah. 12 spies went into the land. Only two of them came with a good report. Majority of them gave a bad report. Only two gave the good report. God wants you to be those two who gives the good report, who declares the good report, who tells, yes, with God, all things are possible. With man, it is impossible, but with God, all things are possible to make Donald Trump as the... Do you know what happened to the uh, other 10 spies who gave a negative report? Eventually, no. It, it wasn't all that soon. I mean, it wasn't all that long. Mm -hmm. I mean, they died. Mm -hmm. God, God killed God killed them. They led the children of Israel astray with their unbelief. Yeah. But, uh, you know, God, God is, God is, all right, God's tougher, I think, than we imagine. Mm-hmm. We he's have pretty to, tough. We, huh? I think he's pretty tough. We yeah. love, he likes tough love. President of United States of America, God will agree with you, even if... And I don't, you know, the reason I know, I know it's a female, something, there's something out of order. And, uh, you know, I think everybody looks at me like crazy, but there's just something to that. Well, think about the top three or four that are on the other side, and they're all female. Well, and I said this time, the Republican Party, we brought in all females. I, and I said, I don't know if that would be a good thing. All the new Republicans that took over the right. states, I think all but one are female. I think almost. Right. I said, I don't know if that's a very good time. If you are little in number, God says, uh, if anyone agree with heaven, I will release my result. Uh, I will release my move. I will release my power. I will make it happen because I am a God unlimited. Hallelujah. God told Gideon, Gideon, go in the strength that you have. It is I who sent you. I am the one who is sending you. Go in the might that you have and I will bring victory. God brought a victory to Gideon and he just went with the little strength that he had. It is not about the quantity. It is about the quality. God is looking. God is going to bring an amazing turnaround, amazing victory in this election for Donald Trump. Hallelujah. 400 years, the Israelites were stuck in the captivity. But then God said, I'm going to liberate them. Everyone thought no one can liberate Israel out of Egypt, but God is telling, I will do it. And he did it. And today, that's what God is going to do here today in this United States of America, that I'm going to bring Donald Trump again while everyone is telling opposite, but I, the Lord, will make it happen. If you believe, you will see my glory, says the Lord. If you trust me, you will see the great victory. Hallelujah. Two years back, 
all my camera and everything was stolen from me. If I quit that day, I wouldn't make this video today. God said, go get it back. It is yours. The victory is yours. It is yours. Get it back. And God gave it in a supernatural way. That's what God is going to do in Donald Trump life. He's going to bring back this election result in favor of him for his glory. And God is able, believe him, he's bigger than anyone else. He's greater than anyone else. He's going to do greater things. He's going to do mighty things in the days to come. Expect amazing things are coming. Greater days are ahead of you. Thank you, Jesus. God says this is the season of watchmen. During the time when Nehemiah rebuilt the broken walls of Jerusalem, God raised many watchmen. And today, God is raising many watchmen to be with him, to completely stand in agreement with heaven, to see the victory, to see the breakthrough. Everyone mock. Did you not talk about watchmen in one of your other videos with watchmen? Or maybe I'm still thinking about the Isabel thing, but I mean, we, we've talk about how watchmen, you know, were, that there are watchmen out there. I've heard that somewhere. And well, yeah, it's, a, it's around for yes. I mean, they're... Yes, but um, there are watchmen on the walls, and uh, um, watchmen who pray. There, there are, like, those uh, prophets who are seers, prophets who are watchmen. Right, what are watchmen and intercessors as well? Yes, I think, okay. yes. Yes. Hmm? Okay, I just know watchmen caught mine okay. in my ear there, and I was just, okay, continue. <laughs> that Nehemiah everyone said you cannot even really win this you cannot finish this you cannot finish this race it is going to go completely chaos but Nehemiah stood firm in the word of the Lord and today the key is to believe in the word of the Lord to believe and within 52 days so about Nehemiah that was the one everybody he was he had going back to rebuild walls and everybody was coming against him to stop him see but anyway, yeah, the way he's pronouncing it is like something else, but it's Nehemiah, we said, okay. So God brought an amazing finishing anointing upon Nehemiah. God is telling right now. Well, I heard it's 52 days. Mm -hmm. Now, what are they talking about? About the election or until Nehemiah? Won't you back, can you back it up a little bit? I don't know. He's greater than anyone else. He's going to do greater things. He's going to do mighty things in the days to come. Expect amazing things are coming. Greater days are ahead of you. Thank you, Jesus. God says this is the season of watchmen. During the time when Nehemiah rebuilt the broken walls of Jerusalem, God raised many watchmen. And today, God is raising many watchmen to be with him, to completely stand in agreement with heaven, to see the victory, to see the breakthrough. Everyone mocked at Nehemiah. Everyone said, you cannot even really win this. You cannot finish this. You cannot finish this race. It is going to go completely chaos. But Nehemiah stood firm in the word of the Lord and today the key is to believe in the word of the Lord to believe and within 52 days uh, God brought an amazing finishing anointing upon Nehemiah God is telling right now okay. 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 50 days probably wondering when is when is January 20th well, let's see this is this was done four days ago November 17th so yeah okay. 20 days already January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, November 30 days yeah so 13 days left November. Uh, That'd be January 8th. She and Christmas, y'all. Oh, y'all are yelling at me. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Just, Just straight up. Three days after the Georgia Senate race. Yeah. Uh next 52 days god is releasing such an amazing tremendous anointing the finishers anointing winners anointing a victorious anointing to donald trump uh, to see an ultimate victory for the glory of god for the purpose of god for the destiny of god because god is in the business of recreating the history during the beginning of 2020 god gave one prophetic word i will recreate history and that is what gonna happen here in this year's election as the results are going Going to be so much of history making and God is going to do amazing things by establishing Donald Trump as the president again for his glory hallelujah last week I was in Philadelphia when I was traveling back I had to return my rental car and uh, my flight is at 6 35 a.m. and I was reaching the airport at 4 30 a.m. to return the rental car but the moment when I go to the rental car place they said closed and the open time says 
it was going to be opened at 6 o'clock in the morning. My flight is at 6.35. So it's really impossible to return the rental car and get the shuttle to go to airport and then do the check-in of my bag and then do the security clearance and then finally catch the flight all in 35 minutes. That's what the situation over the weekend. So I did waited for one and a half hours to get the car returned. I returned the car and at six o'clock, I boarded the shuttle from this rental car place to the Philadelphia airport. And uh, it was nearly like 6.07, the moment when I entered the airport door. The moment I entered the gate, main gate, to check in my bag, they said they cannot check in because the doors are already closed for the baggage. So they said, you can take this as a carry-on. And um, so I went to the security clearance. And uh, at that point, I was also thinking, I will surely miss this flight. In the meantime, something going on in my mind, although I'm going to this level, I was thinking that maybe I should really find a next flight later times because I believed that I'm going to miss the flight. But that was the time God spoke and said, go ahead and don't give up. And that moment I decided, since I heard the voice of the Lord, I'm gonna go and try, it doesn't matter. I don't look for the outcome. I'm going to listen to the word of God, voice of God, I'm going to try. And that's what exactly I did. Several people, like more than 30, 40 people were there in the security checkpoint. And uh, I was there and all of the sudden, the moment I was standing, standing in the line, the moment I was making a conscious choice, to go and attempt and try to catch this flight at 6.35 and time is already 6.07 and uh, a new line was opened up and the security checkpoint and they said like that they said like spread across and uh, I was in the probably like 40th person in that line but then all of a sudden the line went very faster in such a way that I was able to complete my security clearance and I got into the flight at 6.30 a.m. and the flight took off at 6.35. That is amazing. If I decided to quit and looked for alternate flight or next turn or next option, then I would have lost it. This is how Donald Trump is going to win this election. By believing in the word of God, trusting God and not giving up. And church also need to do the same. You got to believe in God and not give up and pray. When church prayed, God did miraculous things and breakthrough. He's gonna do that today. Many are losing faith and giving up, but God is telling this word to you that do not give up. Even in the last minute, do not give up. Wait until January, pray until January. You will see tremendous outcome, amazing miracles. God is telling, I'm not done yet. Don't call it done. It is undone. It is unfinished. It may look like you are losing or missing that flight. But the moment when you take a stand and move forward, God will bring ultimate victory. That's what exactly going to happen here in this president election. God is telling, do not give up. Just stay focused on me. Focused on my finished work on the cross. Fix your eyes on me and believe for I am the Lord who released the word and I am the Lord who is going to fulfill the word. But I expect you to trust me and put your faith and hope on me. Fix your eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. You're going to see amazing breakthrough coming up. Amazing reversal. God is telling, I'm going to bring last minute breakthrough in this election. My verdict has been declared in the court of heaven that Donald J. Trump already won this election. What is declared on heaven, God is calling you and me, the church, to speak life and life in abundance. God is calling you to release this word, stand in boldness and victory and authority. You are going to see the breakthrough of the Lord, the reversal, the turnaround, the shift, the amazing suddenliness, sudden moment is going to come. God is telling, be of good cheer. Do not let your heart be troubled. Be merry, bold, and rejoice for the day of redemption is ahead of you. Do not give up, says the Lord. Hallelujah. How man thinks in his heart, so is he. 
what do you believe today if you believe for victory you will see victory if you believe in jesus name that you will see the victory you will see the victory and god is telling the church today believe in me believe in my word believe in the prophecy that i spoke through many and believe for you are going to see a greater turnaround hallelujah thank you jesus the key here is do not give up have an unwavering mind be settled be determined focus and god will bring ultimate victory hallelujah do not withdraw do not concede but confront the lie of the enemy but god will bring ultimate justice and victory on this earth and you are called to release the word of life hallelujah god has dispatched the angelic ministry in this season and time and god is calling to cooperate with angels and he is going to do extraordinary things he is going to bring things out he is going to bring victory out in jesus name hallelujah in my fourth year of my final exams at college i passed and got very good score in all the subjects but except in one subject it came as i'm failed my friends and everyone said it's okay just give up it's okay just prepare next time very well maybe you will uh, you know like uh, you can able to pass easily next time it sounds so spiritual it sounds so religious but it is not spiritual god said challenge the result apply for reevaluation so that's what exactly i did i don't want to believe in what others say that i lost that exam and i lost the graduation that i have to wait for one more term to finish my exam by rewriting but god said challenge the result god said reevaluate and that's what i did i did the process i did exactly what i need to do stand on the ground apply and trust god and wait for the result and god brought me an ultimate victory and i got passed into this real reevaluation i was able to get clear this paper in my reevaluation and i was able to completely get graduated in this fourth year god is doing the same thing in donald trump's life while many how declaring as a failure god is telling i am declaring as a victorious one hallelujah challenge the result confront the lie and will believe in me trust in me let the church pray and i am going to bring an ultimate victory hallelujah let there be reevaluation of this election let there be a recount of this election let there be a justice that bring out i got a second chance to reapply or reevaluate that paper the same way today god is telling he is going to bring a second chance and second win for donald trump by reelecting him as a president of america and god is going to do this for his glory hallelujah i want to finish this prophetic word with this one passage from the bible that always encourages me in the book of habakkuk Bible says for still the vision awaits its appointed time it hastens to the end it will not lie if it seems slow wait for it it will surely come it will not delay the re-election result and the victory for Donald Trump is coming even if it delay wait for it it will not lie god is going to bring that believe and trust him thank you god bless you all you all have a wonderful blessed day amen whoa okay yeah, have you been around prophets for minutes before they all speak like that hallelujah yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. hallelujah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a fill yeah but okay well That thing about pizza. Yeah. Yes. Let's check his watch. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well, we knew it was a long one. But, right. And then you read him, and then you go longer. But yeah. Well, I mean, just if, I don't know about anybody else, but it just feels <coughs> it feels good hearing what he's saying. I mean, it just you no. Know, I know you're supposed to look out for false prophets and all that kind of thing, but um, you know, I. Well, I think he's I think, he's, I think he is too. I think he's, he's legit and uh, said be patient. It corresponds with what any number of others have said, but right. it all has to do with our right. believing. Right. You know, this is this is part part of the process. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I get that, but okay. okay. So if Trump does become well, what president, then it's on us. We didn't believe hard enough. Well, 
it, it's not, it wouldn't be a if then. That's not to be, that's not to be, you're not to allow that to come into your thinking. You just, you're not. It doesn't mean that you're not being realistic. You just don't let it come into your thinking. Well, I guess, well, then he can never be wrong. We're not saying that he can never be wrong, but on this particular issue. I, that I understand. I've just been hearing that from prophets for a long time. You know? Well, I haven't been hearing it so clearly right. as what this guy is saying. Okay. He's putting the onus on the believers. I know. That's my point. <clears throat> I don't think you understand what I'm saying. Then I don't. Okay. If if if, if it's to believe that Donald Trump is going to be president, I don't need him. I can believe that on my own. Well, except uh, you need a prophetic, a prophetic word reveals. Oh God, we're not reveals the word, the, word, the word of God. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I, I mean, I, I can see what you're talking about, David. But then, okay, I just it's this. It's the, to me, I get it. I get, it's just the same thing. It's just. But see, okay, right now, for a lot of people, Donald, Donald Trump has lost the election. Right now, for a lot of people. Right. Sure. Okay. All right. We're saying that's not so. Okay. I don't believe that. According to the word of God, I don't believe that Donald Trump has uh, lost the election. Moreover, he's going to win the election. He will be declared victor. And in, But in the process, and I think a, a lot of what is happening here, is a lot of underlying evil is going to be revealed. Uh -huh. it's, <coughs> it's taking this struggle to reveal... All the false stuff that's underneath. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But if it, like, if Donald Trump had, had been declared winner quite some, you know, a week after the election or something like that, we'd still have all the false stuff in there. Yeah. But now we're going to have a chance to deal with it and get it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. But I, and I understand what you're saying. Is you're I, saying I, that if, if for some reason he loses, then he's off the hook. And yeah, it's that's it. But, that's what, or it, yeah. it's, I mean, it's well, I don't know that it heats off the hook. It but I mean, come, that's, that's, that's the entire point of what I'm saying. I know, but we're, we're okay. We all sink together if he mm -hmm. doesn't. Yeah. yeah, So. Well, then it doesn't mean anything. Well, it, it does, does baby. Yeah, it does. You know, right. you okay? But we're just believing, kind of. Uh, uh, the. Uh, there's a verse of scripture that says about, uh, there are two things. Uh, belief is prosper, uh, profits, and so shall you prosper. Uh, but there are any number of places in scripture where there, there are things that have, uh, are spoken, but they have to be believed into existence. I understand that. The one that touched Jesus's fabric. Yes, it is. believed it so much that she was healed. I get that. It was her belief. But wait, it had to be confirmed though. And because Jesus, he, because he said yeah, he touched my garment. Yeah, somebody touched me. Yeah. And she came around, and then, then he said, "I think uh, he uh, said okay. your faith made you whole." Right. Mm -hmm. My point is. The belief wasn't on everybody else around there. Right, nobody knew about it. Right, right. Uh, who, who was it that uh, said, Paul, looking on him, saw or Jesus, saw that he had faith to be healed. Mm -hmm. and, and he was healed. Mm -hmm. But, I mean... And, you know, unless unless we think it's a false prophet, I think we need to take heed, and it's a word from God. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But, and, why, and you, so but why are you struggling with that? Why am I struggling with that? When you sell to certain people, you have to sell them differently. You don't sell to everybody the exact same way. And I think what you were trying to say was, how do we know if he's right, if he can be considered right either outcome? Yes. How do, how do you know if he's right? If Trump wins, then he's obviously right. If Trump loses, then he can always say that well, we believe no, hard enough. Okay. So how do we know if he's right? Okay, thank you. But okay, mm -hmm. but if it doesn't come to pass, 
at this point, then we'll say he's a false prophet. How yeah. can you say that of anything you just based that on? Well, I like that lady who said to and to tell them October the 7th, 2016. Oh, okay. Now, now she's Donald saying it. Trump will become our new president. God say us so. I like that. But yeah, I get you need that cheerleader. I need another cheerleader. Well, the fact that they basically said the same thing in two different ways. Yes. Also is good to hear. She um, she did not put a caveat or a, a but or a, or you need to do this in there. It was it was it was a different kind of. So then I go forward, knowing that I have a word from one of one of God's prophets has told me this will happen. Now. It may be, you know, then I go praying that way. This will happen. I spread. This will happen. Praise Lord. No, no, no. This will happen. Okay. How is that different? How is that different? I, I can't explain it any clearer. I mean, this guy says this will happen if. So you're saying she gave no if. Yes. That's why I've been saying. Have I not been saying that the whole time? I got what you meant. Okay. Well, we're, we're married, so I, right. I know what you're going to say before you say it. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. The thing about it is, I don't have any problem with that. I know. Uh, and that's okay. okay. Well, are you sure it's okay? Yes, Dad. So that, I'm saying that's fine. That's You like that cheerleader. I'm just saying I don't I know if they're just cheerleaders. Then I I preferred that the I think the better selling was the yeah. was the woman. <laughs> I'll pay back just a minute. Just give me one more minute, okay? I saw ice cream. I was yeah. your husband there. But no, it, it, it's okay. You know, I was just mm -hmm. asking. I just don't like this. Right. You know, okay. and that 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 woman, I thought, I got a different sense from her. Mm -hmm. You know, I, and well, then are you going to put this now? Sure. Well, it may speak to some people. You know, if you like what we say, and we're doing some things that are a little refreshingly different, they're not necessarily the most profound thing that ever was about everything, but we're touching on this, that, and the other, and we're trying to... Uh, get some answers for ourselves as well as provide answers. So if you like that, we, we would appreciate your subscribing and the sooner the better.